Hello everyone, in this video we're going to explore the PS Vita operating system initial implementation on Vita 3K Android version 3885. We'll check which system apps work, which ones crash, and which features are still not synchronized or functional. Let's begin. First, we try opening the PlayStation Store. Unfortunately, the app crashes immediately. Next, we check messages. It looks like messages is not working yet. Now we try the internet browser. As soon as I open it, the app crashes. Next is party. There is no display at all. Moving on to trophies, it also fails to display. Next, PlayStation 4 Link. Sadly, this one does not work either. Now we check parental controls and movies. These do display, but functionality still appears limited.
Next is music. It does not display. Now let's try email. Still no display. Next, calendar. This one is not working as well. Moving on to PlayStation 3 Remote Play. There is no display here too. Now we open settings things again no display Finally, Content Manager does display, but it looks like it's not fully functional yet. Version 3885 also includes an initial implementation of a game updater, as you may notice, but it's not functional yet. Another important thing to mention is that the PS Vita operating system itself does not display any installed games, even though the games do appear inside Vita 3K. This makes it look like the Vita OS and Vita 3K are not synchronized at the moment, so the system UI can't recognize the installed titles yet. Overall, the PS Vita operating system on Vita 3K Android version 3885 is still in a very early stage. Many system apps don't work, some crash immediately, and the OS currently does not sync with installed games inside Vita 3K. There is progress, but full system functionality is still a long way off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next update.
inspire me to make more videos like this by subscribing to the channel. Thank you.